Orlin 10 flew into Romania and fell when ran out of fuel. A Russia drone Orlin 10, produced and operated only by Russia, had violated Romanian, NATO, airspace and crushed into residential area. What else does NATO need? The drone was found in the Romanian municipality of Dumitra, just over 100 kilometers south of the Ukrainian border. The incident comes after several reports that drones connected to Ukraine-Russia war had entered territory of NATO countries. On March 11, a Soviet era Tu-141 crashed in Zagreb, Croatia. It carried a bomb. So not a joking situation but this one made me laugh. The Russian army lost an Orlin 10 reconnaissance UAV. Based on the fact that it managed to land in hashtag Romania, there was a guidance failure. In the last 19 days, we have all witnessed the demonstrated inability to defend NATO airspace. Aircraft, smaller or larger, flew unhindered over several NATO member states without being identified in real time. These drones we talked about can carry explosive charge. Any unauthorized drone that enters NATO space, under the conditions of war, can only be treated hostile. The lack of reaction from the NATO air defense, so much praised, leads us to conclude that it does not work. Not that it doesn't work in parameters, but it doesn't work at all. If in the case of the Russian drone Orlin 10, we can say that it was small. Maybe it was not in danger, in the case of the drone in Croatia, what else can we say? A large drone, clearly attacking, carrying an explosive charge, with a large thermal signature. It is noticeable that the NATO defense power does not make much money. It is very easily penetrated. Reasons for failure, easily found by NATO officials. Most of the time, the weather. As if the security of the citizens of NATO member countries is ensured only in sunny weather. It seems, and this with the evidence from the last days, that NATO has sold donuts to Poland, Romania and other countries close to Russia. Some people may say that it is not financially feasible to launch expensive missiles against cheap drones. Is not correct. Any flying object, possibly a carrier of explosives, must be identified and shot down. The Orlin 10 surveillance drone flew 100 kilometers over Romania. The Orlin 10 drone has a maximum speed of 150 kilometers per hour a range of 500 kilometers, and can reach a height of 5,000 meters. So we can't be sure how long it has been above NATO space, and how many miles it has actually flown. The 100 kilometers are calculated in a straight line from the crash point to the border line with Ukraine. To conclude, in order not to bore you, with a not at all pleasant conclusion, NATO has so far failed in the fight with the flying objects coming from the direction of Ukraine, be they Ukrainian or Russian. In closing, I want to remind you of the strangest case to date. The inexplicable crash of two aircraft, MiG-21 Lancer and Puma helicopter, 10 minutes apart, also on the territory of Romania, NATO territory, in the immediate vicinity of the border with Ukraine. Please subscribe to the channel.